Monica, pick up your microphone. We're about to record. Hi. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I was just answering a text from my travel agent. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Where are you going? Where, yeah. Well, I'm trying to get my flight canceled because we were supposed to go to Punta Cana. Oh, right. And it hasn't happened yet. So oh, I'm, so a sad thing. It is. I Aww. just want that major amount of money taken off my credit card. Yeah. yeah. It's making me crazy. Are you going to get a dis- uh, discount, a um, reimbursement? Um, I hope so, because then we're going to use the money to book another flight. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so okay, cool. Right. Well, yeah, well, on. welcome to Girlfriends Happy Hour. It's welcome. This is our Hi. Thanksgiving, our special little Thanksgiving quickie. Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving quickie. Thanksgiving quickie for everybody. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> our podcast lounge is turning into, uh, I don't know, what it, what, what kind of room would it be? With, I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to delete that. <laughs> I was, ah! I was like, uh, make, I don't I'm know rambling, where to I'm go. I it. was trying to make a joke about like what in the seventies didn't they have like place I don't know a key party whatever. <laughs> I know I I don't know. All I can think of is afternoon delight. That's the only thing that's in my head oh, right now. Oh yeah, but okay. like well, afternoon pie anyway. delight, pumpkin pie <laughs> delight. Or something. Well, we're talking Thanksgiving mm-hmm. today. Um, I'm Melanie. Monica. Ashley. And thanks for joining us as you prepare you. for your Thanksgiving festivities. Mm-hmm. Um, when I think of Thanksgiving and cocktails, I think of two different things. I think of mimosas in the morning and mm. red wine all afternoon. All afternoon. <laughs> that is true. So I thought we'd have some mimosas today. Yeah. Nice. Last Thanksgiving, I did have mimosas in the morning while I was mm-hmm. preparing for oh, dinner. Yeah. So definitely. It's a must. That is <laughs> good it's call. It's a little mm-hmm. helper. Yeah. So I made mine a little mm-hmm. more festive. Um, we, have a, we have our champagne mixed with orange juice, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. And then I put in a splash of sparkling pomegranate juice with some pomegranate I'm sorry, some cranberries uh, floating in there oh, yes. to well, make it course. festive. Yes. So isn't it's it pretty? Beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. You're the I love queen. It. You, should, you should do that. You know, just have a magazine of drinks you've made and, you know, style them all up. Well, mm-hmm. maybe I will. You I'll write know. a little there cookbook. You go. Well, that's not really much of a recipe, but, you know, it's a couple little extra touches you can do. It's more than just cracking open a beer. Yeah, <laughs> it is. We haven't had to do that not yet. yet. <laughs> um, one year I made, uh, mimosas in, in like one of those big, uh, I don't know what drink dispensers. Right, yeah. mm-hmm. And I made a ice ring out of, um, I put in like lemon slices and orange slices and cranberries Ooh. and just different color and mint and some colorful things in there. And I floated it in the, uh, in the drink dispenser. That's and that cute. was really pretty. That is awesome. I you're, doing... you're good at that. You're good with presentation. Yes. Yeah. You're Very all about so. the presentation. Thank you. Yeah. Because <laughs> sure we know. Scoop that potato salad. Scoop right. that potato salad. Mm. Uh, Monica mm. might know about that. No, that's, mm, she that's actually in my secret yep. private joke. Yeah. <laughs> private. Um, so I also like to make, um, ice rings for like my, sh- if I'm going to serve shrimp, and so mm. I'll make um, make an ice bowl kind of. Mm-hmm. And again, I'll slip in lemons and um, what else do I put? I can't think of what else I put in there for color. And then I freeze it. You you make it in a bowl with a mm-hmm. little bowl, a smaller bowl on top with maybe a can or something weighting it down so that the water freezes in a bowl shape. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm describing that right, but you know what I mean. I, I can pick, I, <laughs> are, I actually I, I visualized okay, it in yeah. my head. So I think you're good. So, yeah, I love presentation. Do you guys have any uh, Thanksgiving traditions or what do you do for Thanksgiving? Um, At my house for Thanksgiving, we normally don't have turkey. Oh, one year I made Mm -hmm. chicken fried steak. Another year I made lasagna. But this year I'm going to do turkey. Are you? Oh, so you're breaking switch, tradition. Switch, switch, <laughs> right, exactly. tradition. We have no tradition. We watch Lions football. That's probably yeah. the yeah. main tradition. And who all is it? Is your mom and no, no, no? It's, just, it's just my husband and our girls and their boyfriends. Really, your yeah. mom's not coming over. She's going. To, I have th- I have two other siblings and she has a boyfriend, so she's got other offers. So. Oh, she has other offers. <laughs> other offers. She's got way more offers than me. Okay, well, go- well, you didn't want to have all of them over. Have you ever had like? A huge one with both of with your sister and your brother and and that would everyone. be the Thanksgiving or excuse me the Christmas, Christmas party okay coming up in a few weeks okay yeah we're we're coming into the holiday season yeah. yes we are yeah we're, we're, we're right into it yeah. Yeah. what about you Ashley what are your Thanksgiving we I mean my family we don't have specific traditions um, we usually get together at different people's houses on different like mm-hmm. this year 
this Thanksgiving, I'll be with my boyfriend's um, family, and then I'll be going to my mom's house for just our family on Sat the following Saturday. Mm-hmm. So we're kind of switching it up this year. We, we would always have big get-togethers on Thanksgiving with my mom's side of the family, mm-hmm. but um, as my grandparents got older and they got more sick and then there was they passed away mm-hmm. and it kind of got a little jumbled and we haven't really got back to our tradition of being together on Thanksgiving. Um, plus nowadays families are scattered so far it's, away. It's hard. Yeah. It, it's yeah. been harder to get together. I think Christmas will, will definitely come together. But so this year I'll just be, I'll be with my boyfriend's family and then Saturday I'll be at my mom's house uh, with my siblings and then our respective yeah. uh, others. So and what about you? Well, um, I, we don't have any real traditions either. Every, I swear every year is something completely different yeah. from the previous year. Yeah. One year, <laughs> I, uh, I said, you know what, let's just be low key and let's order pizza on Thanksgiving. And so we're sitting around Thanksgiving ready to order dinner and there's no pizza places open. <laughs> I was going to say, ah, how'd that work out for you? Yeah, it didn't I work like out well closed. at all. Yeah, I so had, good. so, but the kids were a lot younger, yeah. so I, probably made some mac and cheese or something oh, um this year it, we're having an extra special treat mike's brother and sister-in-law um who live in idaho are going to be in michigan oh and it's been a really long time since we've seen them and all three of their kids and their kids are older um now and they're the same ages as my kids pretty much um so to get all five of them together along with his other two sisters Mm -hmm. and their kids and and you know boyfriends and and relatives and things like that so also um two of his aunts and one of his uncles and so we're gonna we're gonna have a full year yeah we're gonna have it here but we're having it on wednesday and we are actually having it catered by a mediterranean place (gasps) which i'm really excited about because i think i mentioned it before Mm -hmm. i've cut meat out of my diet Mm -hmm. almost exclusively now and I've cut out dairy and, and cheese and things like that. So oh, wow. I'm excited that we're going to have that and no slaughtered turkey. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> and once you start watching documentaries and just don't really do, learning, yeah, don't. Mm. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Uh, I've watched them all, but I will still be enjoying my turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a and that's fine. Yep. I'm not telling you to be any no, different. I I'm just glad that I have the choice this yeah. year. I'm, I'm, we're going to have like, you know, I'll be able to eat the falafel yeah. and the hummus. And, yeah. That's and awesome. then on Thanksgiving, I'm not sure what we're doing. Who knows? Have you ordering ever, pizza. <laughs> when, when cooking not the turkey, pizza. have you? Ever, how many times have you cooked the little bag in there with the giblets? Well, I've been. Oh, <laughs> oh I see what you mean. Yeah, I thought you, you might cook in a bag. To find. And I, I remember the first time I had Thanksgiving, David and I had only just been married. And I remember <laughs> sticking my hand in there and I couldn't find it. I mean, digging around in there mm-hmm. like, must be this turkey didn't have one. So <laughs> turkey's done. And then all of a sudden my dad's like, did you mean to put those in there? I'm like, oh, that's it, it just, you know, once I cooked it, it finally came out. I'm like, so did plastic the pl- in the trash. Oh, I was going to say, did the plastic bag like melt to yeah. the, no, to, it okay. did not. Oh, Thank that's, you. that's good. good. They yeah. probably make it that, they probably made out of like parchment Hopefully, paper yeah. and stuff. And it, so, cause probably a lot mm-hmm. of people do that. Have you guys yeah. seen this YouTube video where this, like a teenage girl, I think is helping her mom in the kitchen and they had tricked her. They put probably like a Cornish hen or something inside the turkey yeah and she's she's doing the turkey and she her mom's like oh it was a mom it was she it was her baby and the girl is freaking out like oh my god it's her baby it's her baby you can't, we can't eat a baby <laughs> it's oh, that's hilarious funny. I have seen that that was funny <laughs> I'm a, I'm kind of excited for this Thanksgiving though because I have lots of just lots of different things yep. going on every day and yeah. I don't have to work as late on Wednesday which is fantastic and Wednesday as we know is the biggest bar night of the year. Yep. Um, and I was reading this uh, Wikipedia article earlier and it is actually it's known as Blackout Wednesday like as uh-huh. opposed to like Black Friday Blackout yeah. Wednesday. Um, or also Drinksgiving or Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> so, Drinksgiving. Which That's I know. funny. I know I have uh, partaken in my uh, fair mm-hmm. share of Blackout Wednesdays. So, yeah. I have be not heard of Drinksgiving. I That's like fun. that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. When we were younger, it was always yeah. the night out before at the mm-hmm. bar and i and a lot of times you maybe you when you're in college or whatever you mm-hmm. go back to your hometown so you go out to and the bar and that's where you see everybody you went to school yes, with yes you know? exactly I, as, and then there were a couple years where i was just too busy cooking and preparing mm-hmm. for that's another reason i like uh catering it 
It's like, really? I, yeah. I don't want to spend all my time in the kitchen. Some people love it. Mm-hmm. I don't love being in the kitchen all the time. I like cre- I like creating new recipes, but... I enjoy cooking, but mm-hmm. but catering also is... Yeah, when you're having yeah. a party, and then you can't really enjoy, and then after mm-hmm. the party and everyone leaves, you're like, I didn't even really get to chat with Aunt Terry oh God, or my mom, whoever. That's like my mom says that. We hardly chat. I'm like, I sat there with you. For 15 minutes. I think we're good for a while. <laughs> we're good for a <laughs> while. Our quota yeah. set. Well, I that's mean. another thing. I mean, you maybe Thanksgiving is a time that you get together with family that mm-hmm. you don't necessarily yeah. have anything in common with. Or maybe you're polar opposite politically mm-hmm. and, um, you know, or disagree on things. And, st- and people are drinking. Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. that can be a difficult time for Leave people. Leave your firearms at home. Yeah, you're going to be with family and drinking <laughs> fireworks. No. Oh, that's also a big day for hunting, though, right? Uh, yeah, hunters still. go out in the morning, mm-hmm. yeah. super early. They go out and they go yeah. hunting, and mm-hmm. that's kind of a tradition with some people. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this year I'm working uh, as always Thanksgiving Eve, and then I at work I said, yeah, I, I'll go on the air. So I'm doing a radio show on Chris, or Thanksgiving. Oh. And on Friday, Black Friday. Oh wow. Oh. So I am so generous. I'm just giving them my Look at time. you. <laughs> Yes, for yeah, you're not going to ask to be paid or anything for that. Yeah, huh. right. So you're not going out for Black Friday shopping. You you'll be mm-hmm. working. Yeah, okay. No, I don't usually. Well, years ago, it was kind of a tradition. Mm-hmm. Didn't you go with yeah. some friends? Yep, we did. Yeah. Um, do you I, go? Traditions I, do they go by the wayside? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a tradition of doing it. Mm-hmm. I've. I did one time my husband and I went there was this um, talking horse thing on sale at Toys R Us that my daughter desperately wanted <laughs> and so we got up and we went there and it was like you know 3 30 in the morning and the line was around the building he says oh hell no no oh and and so we we came home that was his one and only time out um, we ended up finding a used one on Craigslist a lot cheaper there you go <laughs> And I've gone with friends before, but mainly it's just to go stop and have a cocktail, yeah. walk around, mm-hmm. go back, have another yeah. drink. <laughs> well, I've I've gone out on Black Friday, but never early in the morning. Like I've always had to yeah. work on Friday. Mid afternoon is the best. Because and that's when that's, I usually go. Yeah. That's when the morning people are done. And yep. it's before the evening people kick in. Yep. You mm-hmm. know? And that's usually I, you know, past jobs I've gotten out around like one o'clock or so and yeah. then i would just oh, let's stop at target see if there's anything and sometimes there would be and sometimes if i would just go home and eventually shop on the internet on cyber monday so uh, <laughs> yeah it didn't matter to me either way i was like yeah, i'll try and see and that's that yeah well sometimes if we have family in town it just i just like to to just be chill i just want to hang out with my people mm-hmm. and chat and maybe watch like a movie mm-hmm. um so there's some really good thanksgiving movies yeah. too like planes, trains, and automobiles, of oh course. God. I think those are two pillows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that movie. It's just and so sweet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But a lot of the Christmas movies are kind of are a kickoff. Yeah, so like Miracle they, on Thirty Fourth. Yeah, they, they, start they start on start Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yep. Yes. So, like um, you just mentioned, Miracle on Thirty Fourth. Mm-hmm. You yeah. said Home Alone starts with Thanksgiving dinner. I believe is what the. It starts with like that big dinner is a Thanksgiving dinner. Is oh, I think I don't I know. Is it pizza. not? I thought they ordered. Pizza. No, they ordered pizza. Mm. I think it was just yeah. the night before. Oh, oh, maybe it was. Speaking of Home Alone, so okay, so yes, they have the all this family in, and they they're eating all this pizza and they're making messes and this and that. And the next morning, they rush off. Yeah, yeah. the house is the beds made. The ha- yeah. the kitchen spotless. Like really, really, really? Yeah. Mm, no, not buying it. <laughs> I don't think so. Not buying it. <laughs> My daughter, Thanksgiving is her favorite holiday, and I really like it too, mm-hmm. um, because you don't, you're not under an obligation to give someone a gift or you know or anything That's like true. that. Mm-hmm. Um, but she loves it. She will not hear of anything Christmas before Thanksgiving has come and gone. So if I'm like, oh, let's watch Elf, which is my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, no, not before Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I can't play any Christmas music. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She does. Yeah. So it's real strict in our house about that. So it also I'm with her kind on of that one. kick off to Christmas yeah. for me. And I'm in love with the Hallmark Channel, like Christmas movies mm. I, this Wait, just like, so I, I i'm picturing in my head a movie called a boyfriend for the holidays yes that's yeah. exactly it it's like lifetime movie network yeah. but like 
Christmas movies yeah. only or yeah. holiday yeah. movies yeah, only. And Lifetime has them too. Yeah. As yeah. They can. And they have they have two different channels. So they have the really light and and cute ones mm-hmm. where you you travel back to your hometown and your big executive this gal's a big executive and she's forgotten the meaning of Christmas and then <laughs> she meets a handsome stranger who's <laughs> down to earth. How it always works. Yeah, delivers yeah. her a Christmas tree and and she learns the true meaning of Christmas again. It it's a just, hunky guy, right? <laughs> it's always a hunky guy. <laughs> Hunky guy. Hunky guy. And it's always Cameron. Cameron. Uh, oh, what's her name? Candace Cameron Bure. Yeah. Uh, is always. She's in so many of them. And oh, I can't think of some of the others. Yeah, she's single handedly keeping the Lifetime channel afloat. I, <laughs> I think so. Right. Or Hallmark channel. Yeah. One of them. So there's the one with the ones like that. And then the other one with the more serious ones that kind of just make you sad. And, yeah. and mm. I don't know. I don't really like those as much. I like the lighthearted ones. To go off a little bit on what you just said, there's this new podcast I started listening to called Mother May I Sleep With podcast. And it, um, it, this woman and she has a different guest on each time and they just dissect a different lifetime movie each episode and it's super funny but it's like two hours long because she literally goes from scene to scene and uh-huh. like makes fun of and talks about what she loves and it like it's hilarious i love it oh i have to watch I that have to watch that sounds good it's it's really funny and if you have watched if you even know what lifetime is or have ever watched a lifetime <laughs> movie you'll understand yep. yeah. so That's it's great. it's great and she goes over the dialogue and like listen to this line and like how just straightforwardly hilarious it is mm-hmm. so uh, cool. yeah so listen wow. to that if you're into hallmark and lifetime well, good. <laughs> I, yes not monica uh-huh. not ashley yeah i just do they're just light and fun but then i don't know then i get depressed and i have to learn to rein myself in because i get these grand ideas about what's going to oh happen over the holidays you're clark griswold <laughs> I, that is me oh yes. my god you are <laughs> When have I ever gotten excited about ho- holidays, weddings, birthdays? She goes through the list. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just, I want everything to be perfect. I and I want there I to know. be snow. And I want, and I think that comes a lot from watching these Hallmark yeah, movies. Probably. Like, it doesn't because, happen yeah, like that. It never happens in real life like that, you yeah. know? Yeah. And you bump into to a, a stranger with a big white beard who's yeah. really jolly and, and he shows you how to love again. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's not it. Well, well, that's yeah. why we like but movies. Yeah. That's why we watch movies to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, be careful if you are driving for yes. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because uh, apparently that is the basically the deadliest holiday to drive. <gasps> oh, wow. Because <sighs> mm-hmm. everybody's had a few drinks. After they, you know, get to grandma's and then over the river and through the woods, get back home. You would think yeah. it would be like New Year's Eve or something. I would have thought New yeah. Year's Eve for sure. Well, I just, I pulled up this little chart here and I guess it's from 2012, but I don't really know like if there's newer statistics, but oh wow, looking at it. So it's Thanksgiving is the number one and then Labor Day mm. and Christmas is a close third behind that. Martin Luther King's birthday no way. is fourth. What? Why That's are people out drinking? To celebrate it? What the heck? What? Someone Come explain on, America, this to what's me. What's going on? Statistics we can't explain. I know. I don't know. Wow. It's randomly made up by some guy named Steve in a, in a room with the door shut. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm going to just punch these in. Maybe we'll get a mention on a podcast. <laughs> Well, it worked. Steve. Good job, Steve. Yeah, good job, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love my drink. <laughs> We're really good. Mm, mama like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't drink too many no. like mimosas. It's just too much. And that's when I do switch to the A lot of the orange juice, the acidity, I think. Oh, mm-hmm. For me, at least. Yeah, just exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could do like half and half like orange juice and cranberry Mm -hmm. or you could you know switch it up with the pomegranate juice i used to buy those um like guava juice in a can that you could get and i would do guava and champagne Mm -hmm. and it was like less it was still that fruit juice Mm -hmm. but it was less acidic i love that idea Mm -hmm. it's a good one too oh maybe for our christmas special we'll we'll have those guava juice are we gonna have eggnog would you like eggnog? I do like eggnog, but I oh. always assume nobody else does. <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's why I made that face. Here we go. Confession. 
I've never had eggnog. You never tried it? Never have tried eggnog in my life. Well, it looks like uh, that cherry is about to be. (laughs) 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 You're welcome. Papa cherries. We'll have to get t-shirts made. (laughs) With eggnog. What just went pop? Mm, You figure it out. (laughs) Your eggnog cherry. (laughs) Oh, my God. And on that note. On that note. (laughs) Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Drive safe, everyone. And and we're really thankful for you guys yes, for yep. for yes, listening are. in and, and sending us messages. Keep up the good work. Yep. I'm getting more Thank emails. You. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, please remember to subscribe so you, you never miss an episode. Yep. Right. You can find us in the podca- Apple Podcast yep. Store, the iTunes it's Store. It's so easy to find us. I mean, mm-hmm. seriously easy. Yep. Yeah. I mean, shoot. Yeah. If you're if you have ever heard of a computer, you can you find. Can, us. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know exactly. where the World Wide Web is yeah. located? <laughs> you can find us. Exactly. So, will you guys have fun? And um, mm-hmm. I will. We will see you next week. Yep. After Thanksgiving. Yep. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers.